Goatyard. That little bitch she bad. I tell her I cannot let her thought she playing like a troller. I love what is fucking. Yo, hello, it's Bovikos from Editing Visuals here, and today I will show you how to make the paper wings. Let's begin. First, we need to find a clip where we will make the paper wings, so I have one right here. There's a big app which I can fill with paper wings, so you need to cut out the last frame of your clip, and now you need to right click on it, go to time, and press freeze frame. And now we can extend it to the other clip, and uh, what you want to do now is download paper wings, which I have linked in the description. The effect will be called wing animation 2, and put it on top of your clip. Now, as you can see, these are gonna be white wings. We can position them so they're on our character. We can maybe even rotate them here. Now, what we can do now is right click on the wings, press on pre-compose, we can call these wings and move all attributes into new composition, press OK. And now let's double click on this pre-composition layer. And here, we're going to make these paper wings into actual paper wings. If we get the video to 500 likes, I will add my own paper wings, which I made in the intro of the video. I did make this white wing thing, so you could customize for yourself. So what you want to do now is go to Google or any other search software and here you will want to google for paper scrap collage now we need to pick out some paper scrap collages so for example i see a really cool one right here and all you need to do is just save image as and i have this papers thing so i will save one paper so i could call this paper suit just save a couple i kind of like this one this one looks very cool as well i could save it to paper three another one could be this one i could save it to paper four that might actually be enough for the clip and now let's go back here press ctrl i uh, go to the folder you saved it and just select all of your papers that you save and let's drag them below the wings layer now we can press s to scale all of them up like this move them around somewhere here as well push them away for a bit okay this wing switches right at this frame so at this frame i will cut the wing and i will cut this paper so it's like that and what we need to do here is go to toggle switches and modes and on the paper layer you need to go to this here and choose alpha mate to wing animation and you will have a little paper wing now let's go to the second wing and switches right here so we need to cut it here and bring another paper make it directly below and cut it up you can cut by pressing ctrl shift d and again select alpha mate and this wing let's bring another one right here Ooh, let's scale this up way more and let's just see where it ends it ends right here so we can cut both of these right here and again press here alpha mate wing and let's see when this one ends pretty fast all right let's bring this one cut it up and alpha mate and as you can see these are now the paper wings and now let's cut it up so right now it's a still image and we don't want it like this what we need to do is press on the wings and I'll press ctrl alt y to make an adjustment layer and cut it up a bit until the next clip and we need to add transform press on scale here and press on position and now go to like almost last frame and you need to scale it up here and just drag the position some so you can see the wings a little bit better now press u I can move these a little bit further press on this button to give motion blur now select all of these keyframes and press f9 let's go to the scale graph if your graph looks like this go here and press edit value graph make the graph look something like this and and go to the positions graph here you actually want to go to edit speed graph and you want to make your graph look like this now you might actually want to bring the scale keyframe a little bit closer and the position keyframe as well a little bit closer and another thing i would recommend to do is press ctrl alt y again now cut this up a little bit more something like here and add another transform to this and this transform we can scale it up like 112 and we need to go to the rotation for here i think we could set it to like three we need to make it like we rotate now we can go a couple of frames forward maybe like somewhere here and we can press ctrl d to duplicate this layer put it right here make the rotation a bit different minus 2.5 so it gives that little rotation maybe we made the scale a little bit too big here so we could drag it down a bit and it does kind of position itself too much again this is very much for adjustments you need to adjust a lot here we can actually scale this up even more a bit like 115 and let's go to the ending of this clip somewhere like right here and we can make the rotation five but we have also cut this adjustment line and the scale make it 120 here we can also do this more often if you want make something different like right here as well you can have more rotations if you want another cool thing you could do here is pressing ctrl alt y making a new adjustment layer and cutting it to just one frame here we should probably add invert and it will have a really cool transition into it and when you change to another one you could also make an inward but just put it maybe one frame forward if you want to make this even cooler you can add a new adjustment layer and on the adjustment layer you can add effects from our halloween pack which we have on our editing visuals website on the website we have even more editing packs which help you elevate your editing skills so you can add effects such as halloween and then just pick out whichever you want my personal favorites are halloween effect 8 love this look and it looks amazing with the wings as well you can also customize your wings with these effects another effect i really love is halloween effect 12 
another cool one is halloween effect one these effects are on our website which is linked in the description let's get back to the tutorial here it's going to be a little bit different we will need to cut this to one frame and go to time press on freeze frame and we need to extend this a bit and here we will actually need to cut the person out i recommend cutting with the pen tool so you just cut the person out i'll get back after the cutting all right i tried to cut as well as i could so this is how it looks like that i cut it like that once you've cut your frame out you can now add the paper wings all right here i'm just going to go to my paper wings and i'll just copy copy them and paste them and i'll drag them over and this is the only difference and you can do the same things as i told you before right here i would just recommend to scale up a little bit more like this and sometimes i like to do a trick where i delete one of the frames of the mask you can see the wings in front so i really like to do this as well it actually makes it feel like the wings are there and yeah i recommend also adding an adjustment layer and making a zoom in to this all right i hope this video was helpful if you have any questions then please let me know if you want me to respond even faster then you can join our discord server and there type to me i'll get back to you way faster remember to mess around a lot with these wings create something amazing all right it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya